Hey everyone, it's King, and we're going to talk about Donald Trump banning TikTok. Now, I don't have too many details on it, but it looks like he's upset about someone or the company. And there's a lot of people saying it's a certain woman, and we'll look at her video, and or it's because uh, what I read, TikTok was uh, originally a Chinese company. And Microsoft wants to buy. So let's go ahead and jump into Mrs. Sarah Cooper. And uh, Sarah Cooper just did a did a video pretty much mocking Trump, you know, just just doing it, you know, like you know how you lip syncing, that's basically what she's doing. So let's watch the lip sync right now. Named it, whatever it might be. And it was thirty or thirty five questions. The first questions are very easy. The last questions are much more difficult, uh, like a memory question. It's uh, like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. So they say, could you repeat that? So I said, yeah. So it's person, woman, man, camera, TV. Okay, that's very good. If you get it in order, you get extra points. If you Okay, now he's asking you other questions, other questions, and then 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes later, they say, remember the first question? Not the first, but the 10th question? Give us that again. Can you do that again? And you go, person, woman, man, camera, TV. If you get it in order, you get extra points. They said nobody gets it in order. It's actually not that easy, but for me, it was easy. Now, that's Miss Sarah Cooper. <laughs> which Trump should be already used to people lip syncing and making fun of him and all that. I believe as a president, as as the type of high profile person he is, and a real estate mogul, he has to have thick skin. And sometimes he shows that he doesn't have it. He gets upset when people insult him and say something about him. And this this may be the result of that. Him just uh, getting irritated at people. Uh, and trying to use this power to take it out, but taking it out on TikTok. So um, here you can read, uh, Donald Trump abruptly announced on Friday that he plans to ban TikTok from the United States, telling reporters traveling with him on Air Force One that he could issue an executive order earlier Saturday to shut down the Chinese-owned video app. And as far as TikTok is concerned, we're banning them from the United States. Trump told reporters traveling back with him to the nation's capital after their trip to Florida, according to the Pooh Report. So, hmm, still that doesn't make the sense. You, you know, I know that still doesn't really give a reason why. So, let's go ahead and drop down here. He said, well, I have the authority. I can do it with an executive order or that. He said, referring to emergency economic powers. And... I don't know if he can, I mean, if you think about it, guys and gals out there listening, he would have to, he would actually have the power to shut down any other social media platform. That's what I'm saying. That's not, I don't believe that's going to happen at all. Now, you leave a comment if you think that's going to happen. TikTok shutting down, that means he can shut down Facebook, Instagram, all of that. And those are multi, those are almost billion dollar companies right there. So... Earlier this month, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the U.S. Pompeo said the U.S. was looking at banning TikTok as well as other Chinese social media. So that's so. This is basically what it boils down to: Chinese social media apps, Chinese. So I guess we're going back to the the whether coronavirus it has five seven due to coronavirus or or some nonsense with China or it's always something political has something to do with anything. Now, uh, I've, wow, and now if you keep reading, TikTok, as it has with other Chinese state-backed tech companies like Huawei and ZTE, which he has previously described as Trojan horses for Chinese intelligence. Now, I don't know if that's proven or not. We don't work in the, the Pentagon. We don't work in security, you know, that high, high intelligence security to know anything. But going on with, 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 with the Secretary of State, Secretary of State Mike and, and Trump is saying you got to take that with a grain of salt you have to look at this like well you have to really look at this like this uh, if, if that's going on 
then nothing Chinese would be here electronically, any kind of app, anything. So, and when you can do that, just shut down anything because of a, a particular country, then you feel that's dangerous because they can do the same to us. They go, oh, since you, said, since you shut down our app, we're going to shut down yours since it's USA based. So, I, I believe people to just, you know, that's if that's true, remember, you, I'm looking at everything as rumors right now. Uh, I think that's really not mature on anything. You have to prove that that's going on. And I hope this don't have just crap to do with the whole, I know the Wuhan they said there was a start where the coronavirus is spread all over the world. So, hope that crap don't fall into that. So, but guys and gals, leave a comment. What do you guys think about it? Uh, I want to hear what you have to say. You hear what I have to say, but, you know, wisdom and you know, common sense are telling me just some type of just whole China just doesn't sit well in the, the eyes and the heart of Donald Trump and maybe the whole administration up there in the U.S. government. So. But anyway, guys, this the king speaks if you like this video, click like, click subscribe, click share. And with that, you guys stay safe out there. Talk to you later.